After landing one of the final marquee free agents available, a player who was a few spots ahead of Paul George and Pascal Siakam in player efficiency rating at his position in Christian Wood, the 2023-24 Lakers may have just provided LeBron James with the best team around him of his entire 21-year career. The native of Long Beach, California and C. Wood returns home to where he's always dreamed of playing, which will add to his motivation to contribute to a potential second title in five years for the city of Los Angeles. Wood being able to play either the four or the five spot with a career 38% three-point stroke and a shot-blocking average of over a rejection per game last year gives Darvin Ham more variety regarding his offensive playbook and lineups. Wood being capable of playing next to Anthony Davis with his switchability while having the quickness to check quicker combo forwards I think is massive. LA hasn't been able to put out an elite multi-big lineup since Dwight Howard was on the squad, who when next to Davis made their length really tough to deal with. Being able to replicate that reach advantage in 23-24 with Wood and Davis is one of the reasons why fans of the purple and gold are hyping up Christian's acquisition. Having another weapon who's shown in the past to be able to all of create and knock down shots off the dribble, space the floor out, plus defend the paint, are factors LA could have benefited off in the conference finals against Denver. And the Lakers front office has handled that defeat in stride this offseason. Instead of signing Bruce Brown, Brooke Lopez, Nas Reed, and Harrison Barnes, free agents who were paid a total of $78 million, Rob Palenka smartly completed the puzzle around LBJ, AD, Rui, D'Lo, Vando, Reeves, and the previously acquired Gabe Vincent by signing rising wing Cam Reddish, rim-protecting locomotive Jackson Hayes, lockdown defender Torian Prince, and now high IQ shot block and stretch big C. Wood for a combined $11 million. The all-time scorer in the history of the NBA, LeBron James, by himself has more playoff wins than 22 other franchises. Let's take that in for a minute. Think about how insane that is. He's the only all-time great and one of four players of all time next to Robert Ory, John Sally, and Danny Green to win a championship with three different teams, having gotten the job done in Miami, Cleveland, and LA. Despite playing on a torn tendon in his right foot, the final game of the 2023 Western Conference Finals saw this man set the NBA record for the oldest player ever to score 40 points in a playoff game, entering what's already going to be season number six in the City of Angels for James and what'll be the fifth for Anthony Davis, getting to benefit off the services of Christian who can complement this top duo in so many ways, in my opinion, makes the Lakers one of the top five favorites to win the 2024 championship. In addition to playing for his hometown team, what will also add to Wood's motivations is the wide array of skepticism his signing has received. The haterade is definitely strong, but the truth is, every fan base wanted their GM to pick this man Christian up. The fact that Woods played eight seasons with eight teams and has yet to make the playoffs speaks to the lack of talent and volume that was next to him on those rosters. And I know he played next to Luka and Kyrie, who were available together for 20 games last season, but aside from those two, it was a Dallas team where Wood had to take on more responsibility than you'd like him to. Keep in mind the year he played for the Bucks, he was waived just before the playoffs, but those blaming Wood for not making the postseason with the at the time bottom feeding Sixers, Hornets, Pelicans, Pistons, and Rockets just aren't being logical. He enters a situation in Los Angeles where there is a ton of depth up front, meaning there won't be a ton of pressure on him, and I think he fits in great. Whether it's picking and popping or rolling for Braun, providing a lob threat for any of the Laker facilitators, running out in transition, providing another 7 foot plus wingspan on the glass, or being able to make big to big connections with AD given his passing ability, snagging Wood for a 2 year contract worth 2.7 mil, is a risk free, high upside move. I want to talk about how the depth of this LA team has come a shockingly long way in such a short period of time. Over the last half year, the Lakers traded for D'Angelo Russell, Jared Vanderbilt, and Rui Hachimura drafted Summer League standout Jalen Hood, who may be a steal at pick number 17, and of course, signed Gabe Vincent, Torian Prince, Cam Reddish, Jackson Hayes, and Christian Wood in 2023's free agency. 
If 33% of those acquisitions resulted in getting four wins from a finals appearance, getting to a conference finals matchup where they were within 11 points in every game and within six points in three out of the four games with the last L coming down to the wire, you have to at least take the other 67% of those moves somewhat serious. So the Lakers have had an A-plus offseason in 2023, probably the best out of any team, which is very noteworthy considering they won two playoff rounds last spring, one of which was against the 2022 champions. The 2020 champions have now acquired a player who was the only man among all 450 players next to Anthony Davis in 22-23 to average 20 plus points and 2 plus blocks per game as a starter. It should intimidate opponents across the association now that Wood and Davis are in the same front court. Many people are acting like it, but this isn't simply any other signing. Given Christian's a player who scored 16 consecutive points for a team last season, which came in his debut for the Dallas Mavericks. With ball handling skills that have in the past broken the ankles of a top defender of this generation in Draymond Green, and a scoring repertoire that dropped 32 points against his future team on Christmas Day, and has surmounted in 99 career 20 plus point games, 16th most among active power forwards just ahead of Jason Tatum. Christian will have the chance to expose anyone doubting the legitimacy of his signing, especially given how much of a bargain he was acquired for. If you're wondering about whether or not he's going to start or come off the bench, Lakers insider for The Athletic and Jovan Buha detailed that by saying, the early expectation is that Wood will come off the bench. With Rui Hachimura the likely frontcourt starter next to LeBron James and Anthony Davis, according to team sources. At a minimum, Wood will be the primary backup center behind Davis while occasionally teaming with him in two big lineups. He should average around 20 minutes per game when everyone's healthy. So I guess that report implies Jared Vanderbilt, aka Vando, will also be coming off the bench in addition to Wood. And while Coach Ham will have to sort out somewhat of a log jam up front, all of this Laker depth should bring internal competition that should be incredibly beneficial to every Laker forward that's going to be battling it out for minutes. But my biggest point of any, the volume of Laker big bodies should most importantly maintain fresh legs for LeBron Raymond James Sr. and Anthony Marshawn Davis Jr., helping them sustain the 82 game marathon, allowing them to reach peak physical condition once the 2024 playoffs hit. Given, as I stated in yesterday's ranking, trade deadline acquisition Rui Hachimura is a player I'm predicting will have a late bloomer type of breakout year. This could be an extremely special campaign for the Purple and Gold and its fan base. Let me know your thoughts on this acquisition of C. Wood down below. D-Flow signing off.